but he misses Neely. Miami continues to dominate the overtime. Air sneak. Poppin gets it. Busatelli looking across for Neely. Can't quite get it through. Here comes Danny Bertram. Bertram has Gannon. Bertram has room. The shot. Save. Rebound in front. Backhand. Goal! Boston College is going to Denver. Just their third shot in overtime. And it's a winner. from Reading, Massachusetts is the hero at 12-12 of overtime. Number 15 sends the Eagles back to the Frozen Four for the 21st time. I'll tell you, Miami did everything. They outplayed them for the whole 13 minutes. They had by far the better chances. Johnny Muse played great. He made some key saves. And how did the goal go in? A long shot. That got kicked the rebound out. It looked harmless. But Whitney just won the battle and threw a backhand in. So for the third consecutive year, Boston College eliminates Miami. Just a long the shot. A long shot. Zach Koff has made that save all night long, but he kicked the rebound out, and Whitney just won the battle with his man, and he threw a backhand in past the goaltender. Right here, long shot, harmless shot. Zach Koff kicked it out, and there's Whitney coming in, just beating his man, Mazzatelli, and he puts it in the net. Wow. There's Unbelievable. Look at that. He's in the air. Bobby Orish. His feet aren't touching the ice. Jerry York responds. The timeout, John. Remember that timeout? The timeout really did change the tide in overtime. Ryan Kaufman was there. He made a good defensive play on Joe Whitney. However, Whitney with the diving, incredible goal in overtime. Nathan Gerby and the BC Eagles are heading back to the Frozen Four with a 4-3 win in overtime. And again, Miami did a great job on Gerby. He wasn't a big factor. They controlled the stars. Patricky was great on defense. Muse made some great saves late in the game. Wasn't that busy most of the game. Zatkoff was a star. Miami was a better team up to that point. Way better team up to that point, John. But again, OT, OT the one mistake, one individual effort like we saw there by Whitney, and you end up losing and going home. So Joe Whitney scores a goal that he will remember for the rest of his life. The freshman, five feet, six inches tall, 165 pounds. Went to a Lawrence, Lawrence Academy before coming to Boston College out of Reading, Massachusetts. And number 15, Joe Whitney, is the hero of this game. He sends Boston College to Denver and the Frozen Four. So once again, for the third consecutive year, Boston College eliminates Miami of Ohio. Well, there's Jerry York, and I, and I just I want to talk about this again because a lot of people think, well, coaching's not important. If you got the best team, you're going to win. Jerry York's team was bad. They weren't ready to play in the OT. They were getting beat all over the ice. It was just a matter of time until Miami scored. Jerry York scores a timeout, and after that timeout, that's when Boston College got going. E.J. Raddick has the hero of the game, Joe Whitney. Joe, just take us through that goal. Obviously a big one. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is unbelievable. This is what we've uh, wanted to do all, all year long, and now we've accomplished it. Um, Birdie came down the right wing, took a great shot, looking for a rebound, just trying to get myself to the net, and I luckily went in. What did Coach York tell you guys during the timeout? We just settled down a little bit, keep things simple, play our game, and we should be all right, and it worked out for us. Yes, it did. Thanks a lot. Go celebrate. Back to you, John. Thank you so much, EJ. So here in Worcester, Massachusetts, spurred on by their fans and their band, the only band in the house, Boston College gets the big goal from Joe Whitney, and they're heading back. They've lost the last two title games, Barry. There's still work to be done. Unless they win a championship this year, it's a, a disappointing season. Well, I, I didn't think they were going to get a chance to go back. Miami looked very strong. Uh, starting the game 2 nothing. it looked like they were out of it. And then all of a sudden, they score those three quick goals. They make some good plays. They end up coming out in OT. Uh, Muse played great. Just, this tournament's been unbelievable. The games yesterday, the game today, just a great, great job by college hockey and these great young athletes. Uh, fantastic, fantastic effort. For Barry Melrose, EJ Raddick, our entire ESPNU crew, the statistician Bob Greeley, I'm John Butchergoss. Coming up next on ESPNU, our NCAA Hockey Championship coverage continues from Madison, Wisconsin, North Dakota, and Wisconsin. Our final score from Worcester, Boston College 4.
Miami 3, Boston College heads to Denver.